What's up guys? Today we're going to check out 1999's The Sixth Sense on 4K UHD. I'm not here to talk about how good or bad the movie is, I'm just going to share some thoughts on the audio and video quality. Now let's go over a few tech specs. The movie was shot on 35mm, it's got a 4K DI, it's rated PG-13, runtime is 101 minutes, aspect ratio is 185 to 1, and the audio is in DTS HD 5.1. Before we take a look at the audio, you can find a link down below in this video's description that tells you about all the gear that I use for these 4K reviews. Now I haven't seen this movie since it came out on DVD or on Blu-ray, so I've got no idea what it sounds like to do a comparison. This transfer also does not get a brand new immersive mix, so no Dolby Atmos or DTS-X. There's not any real surround effects to speak of, rather than some musical elements that spread to the surround channels. It's light extension, so most of the audio does come from the front stage. I didn't find this to have a particularly wide sound stage, but the surround usage does add a little bit of depth. The only issue that I had with this mix is that you could hear a fair bit of background hiss during a few scenes where it's just dialogue between two characters. The louder your volume is, the more noticeable it's going to be. As for a bass response, your subwoofers aren't really going to be doing much at all. And thank you to Kaleidoscape for supplying me with this copy of The Sixth Sense so I could bring you the home theater movie loving community this 4K review. Now if you do want to get your movies weeks and sometimes months before they come out on 4K disc, consider getting a Kaleidoscape at our channel partner Dream Media. Links can be found down below in this video's description. As for video quality, this is one fine 4K. Now since this was shot on film, there is a fair amount of film grain. I do think they may have managed the grain just a touch because there are few shots that do look a tiny bit smoothed over. But other than that, there's still plenty of film grain intact. James Cameron might want to take some notes from the guys that did this transfer. Now it's got some nice detail in several shots. Not so much where you're going to be inspecting pores and wrinkles, but enough where you'll see nice texturing on clothing and on background scenery. And there's also some close-ups that are still pretty sharp as well. The HDR did come across pretty mild, so I didn't see any crazy peak highlights. And the color palette is mostly darker muted colors, so this isn't going to blow you away for HDR visuals. The black levels looked fine, with some darker scenes coming across with very little to no shadow detail, but overall, I didn't notice anything glaringly bad about the image. It's clean, has plenty of detail on hand, and I'm sure it does look better than the DVD. I'm gonna go with an 8.4 for video. For audio, this sounded okay for a 5.1 channel mix. It's not a real dynamic mix or even a real detailed mix, and I was kind of bothered by the background hiss. So I'm gonna go with a 6.5 for audio. Now this review was based on the Kaleidoscape version which comes in at 60.2 gigs for the Dolby Vision version and 61.3 gigs for the HDR10 version which is the one that I watched. And if you are waiting on the 4K disc, I'm sure it'll look just as good and sound exactly the same. So what are your thoughts on this new Sixth Sense 4K transfer? Leave your comments down below and let me know. Now if you do want to pick up this movie, I will leave some links for it down below in this video's description. As always guys, thanks for watching. If you want, you can follow us on social media and if you want to support the channel and get exclusive content or great discounts on audio and video gear, then stop by our Patreon page. Be sure to like this video if you found it useful and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again in the next one.